Hi all, and welcome back to The Neighborhood. Today, we're taking a look at Dave, the Honest Audiophiles, HE5XX from Hyphaman and Drop. I've been personally interested in the 5XX since it debuted, as I had recently received the Deva, and there were lots of reports out there that the 5XX was essentially a cheaper Deva with a different headband, using what most suspected to be the same drivers. So, coming into this review, I wanted to answer a few questions. One, is the 5XX worth buying when the Deva is just a few bucks more? And two, is the 5XX and the Deva as similar as others seem to think? Let's get into it. The build here is the typical drop version of Hi-Fi Men headphone on the cheap, meaning it has the original thin, form-fitted headband without a suspension strap or much padding. Personally, I don't mind this headband and I find it very comfortable, but there are some out there that report hot spots and difficulty with it form-fitting their head. I seem to have noticed that people with rounder heads are generally fine with this headband, while those with narrower shapes tend to complain about its comfort. In any case, the headband here definitely helps the 5XX in its weight department, as these are some of the lightest planar magnetics on the market at the moment. The yoke design is metal, and it does play a bit, but there isn't really any kind of swivel here like in the HE4XX. Moving on to the cups, their design is very similar to the Deva, but instead of a silver and brown colorway, the 5XX sports an all-black motif. The grills are metal like the Deva, and the cups themselves appear to be composed of a thin plastic, again, sounding and feeling similar to the Deva. The pads are no different in their similarity with the Deva, except that they're all black instead of brown. Nevertheless, the pad material itself seems to be made from the same perforated microfiber for the portion that rests against your face, and the same pleather material on the outside and inside rings of the pad itself. The major difference here is with the connection. The 5XX sports dual right and left TRS connections, while the Deva utilizes a single-sided balanced 3.5mm TRRRS connection at the base of the left ear cup, which supports its Blue Mini Bluetooth adapter. The 5XX does not support this adapter, but fits many other more traditional cables such as the dual 3.5mm to 2.5mm balance meze cable which I used with the 5XX for the majority of this review. So, to the naked eye, the 5XX at least looks similar to the Deva. Internally, their planar magnetic drivers even look the same too. And I'm not going to say that there's a drastic difference between the two in terms of their sound either, other than to say that there most assuredly is a difference. But this is why you subscribe to Your Friendly Neighborhood Reviewer here on this channel instead of the other pretenders who can't hear the difference. Most notably, the presentation of the 5XX is thinner than that of the Deva, and it has more embellishment up top. The treble extension has more air and it's vaster, but also sharper and a bit spikier here or there. The timbre of the 5XX is also cooler and more in line with hi Men's house sound. The Deva is also more rolled in its top end performance, but also more even sounding overall, with the most accurate timbre of any Hi-Fi Men that I've reviewed to date. Resolution, image clarity, and separation are comparable, but if I had to give the nod to one or the other, I'd probably give a slight edge to the 5XX here. Vocals are slightly larger and more forward on the presentation of the 5XX, but vocals also possess a somewhat shouty quality on this set a quality which is absent on the Deva. In general, the notes depicted by the 5XX are slightly harsher and more ambient in their character, and the Deva is somewhat smoother with more weight to it. With that said, the low end extension of the 5XX is ever so slightly more sub-bass focused and extended further than the Deva, which has more of a mid-bass presentation with a more subtle roll-off to it. I'd also say that the 5XX is a grainier headphone in comparison to the Deva overall too, but neither headphone really excels at detail retrieval beyond its price point. 
Given its visual similarity to the Deva, yet its dissimilar sound, I've spoken to Farsal the Wizard about what could possibly be going on here. What Farsal suspects is that the 5XX may indeed use the same driver as the Deva in principle, as others have suspected, yet he also thinks that Hi-Fi Men might have used less powerful magnets in the 5XX as he presumes it is a cheaper variant of the headphone that they provided to drop, and they may be trying to save on the cost per unit here. Again, there is no proof of this to date, and it's just suspicion, but it does make sense at least when one considers each headphone's presentation. The 5XX is somewhat rawer sounding, indicating less control by the magnets over the driver, while the Deva is more controlled in its presentation overall, which is likely why I prefer its sound signature to that of the 5XX. So in the end, I'm not really sure what Hi-Fi Men is after here, offering the 5XX in addition to the Deva, but understand that some consumers may be attracted to the 5XX cheaper price, black colorway, and more traditional dual-sided connection at the ear cups. Nevertheless, the Deva Pro by Hi-Fi Men also now exists, which is also black and has a dual-sided connection. I'll be reviewing that as well in the upcoming months. Ultimately, some may prefer the treble extension of the 5XX and be willing to put up with its harsher, peakier character, but to me, Drop's own 4XX bests the treble of the 5XX and comes in at a cheaper price. So these might be someone's cup of tea, but I'd rather include the 4XX and the Deva in my collection before looking at the 5XX. And before I go, my analytics suggest that most of the people who watch my video are not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and consider leaving a comment before you leave. Also, consider following the channel at all its other access locations, including Instagram, Twitter, www.intuitreviews.com, become a member of the Discord, or join the Patreon. The Patreon is only $1.50 a month, and it gets you access to early written reviews like this one. And with that, I'm out for now.